Hi, my name is Ted Tessman, and this is the third video in the series on how to get the most out of your nitro engine. So this video we're going to focus on the carburetor linkage and carburetor opening. And the first thing I want to say is that the carburetor or the linkage has to be perfectly straight with the carburetor pull. And what I mean by that is you can look at the car from the side of the, from the side and look at this little arm. It should be par or perfectly level with the carburetor. So when you move your servo, you can do it with the radio on or off, doesn't matter. But when you move your servo open, it pulls the carburetor completely, perfectly straight open. And if it's not, it can bind, which then when you hit the gas, it could maybe stick closed and then all of a sudden open wide and make you think maybe your tune is wrong or something else is wrong with the car when it's really just your linkage. And then when you go to let off, you want your carburetor to go shut quickly and your car to come down to idle and then it'll run like a normal car to be able to make the turn or whatever you're going to be doing at the time. If it doesn't, if your carburetor is opening crooked or your linkage is all crooked, then it might stick open and then you might have to hit the brake to actually make it make the car slow down, which again is not ideal. Uh, it's going to be really hard to drive. When you go over a jump, it might stick open and make a car run on and then make you think your tune's off again or you're something wrong with your clutch when it's just your linkage. So all these things are very important to have perfect and then you won't have as many issues. You'll have your car running like it should run. Uh, your car is going to open and shut fast. Um, I even put a little bit extra. Um, I put a little rubber band around the carburetor to pull it shut a little bit faster even to help that linkage spring out. So when I go over a jump it comes down to idle instantly so I can time the jump properly. I can control the car in the air and it just makes your car easier to drive. Next we're going to talk about carburetor opening and this is something that can affect your fuel mileage, how much power you have, so it's very important to get this figured out for each person and each engine is a little bit different. So what I like to do is take my calipers, I'll open them and put them on either side of the carburetor, on the carburetor pull and on the other side where the mid, mid range is. And then I'm going to zero the calipers with the carburetor shut and then I'll take my radio and I'll open the carburetor so that the, car, the calipers read whatever venturi I'm running. That's how I'll go to start. Like if I'm running a 6.5 uh, restrictor, I want it to open 6.5 millimeters. And then once you've done that, you can run it on the track and kind of get a feel for what it feels like. If it has too much power, for instance, some tracks, it might have too much power. So you can always turn the, the opening down a little bit. But if you have it opening any further than the venturi, you're just wasting fuel. Uh, you're making your power band very abrupt and hard to drive. So it really doesn't benefit you to run it past the venturi opening, but oftentimes I'll have it opening less even, so it has better fuel, fuel mileage and better power band for whatever track I'm running on. Okay, so that was part three of how to get the most out of your nitro engine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.